So guys, um, in this uh, couple of videos, we want to start looking at absolute value equations and inequalities. Okay. Um, so we're going to start with the absolute value function, and then later we'll solve some equations uh, involving absolute values, and then later on we'll look at um, equations in, involving um, inequalities. All right. And so, what is the absolute value of um, a real number, say s? Well, the absolute value of any real number is um, the distance from the number to zero on the number line. So if you have a number line, uh, let's say zero is here, one, two, three, and so on, negative one, negative two, negative three, um, then you say the absolute value of two, what you mean is the distance from two to zero. Okay, this distance, what is that? Of course, the absolute value of two then will be equal to two. Well, what would be the absolute value of negative two? That is also the distance from this point to zero. Right, you have one unit to two units, so the distance is still two, right? So the absolute value of negative two is also equal to two. Okay, so it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be an integer. I can take um, I can take the number here. Let's say for instance this is three on two, right? One and a half. The absolute value of one and a half is three on two. The absolute value of negative three on two, which is somewhere here, is also equal to three on two. Okay? So the absolute value really is just a distance from that point to the origin, which means that the absolute value here can't never be negative is either zero or positive okay so the absolute value of any real number let's say a must always be greater than or equal to zero it, it can never be negative all right so that is very important so in talking about absolute value equations um if i have the absolute value of x is equal to some real number a where of course this has to be positive, right, is equal to a, it means that x is either equal to a, right, absolute value of 2 is 2, absolute value of negative 2 is also 2. So this means, this implies that x is equal to a, or x is equal to negative a, or if like negative x is equal to a, which is the same as that. So whenever I have an equation involving an absolute value like this, expect to have two values, right? X is either A or X is equal to negative A, because if you plug both of them in here, the equation will be satisfied. If I take the absolute value of A, if I put it here, I get A. If I put negative A in here, take the absolute value, I still get A, all right? This is basic, so this, you have to understand this very well before we start solving equations. Okay, so what is an absolute value function? The simplest absolute value function would be the function f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. How is this defined? Well, this is defined as this. We expect two values because of the absolute value, right? It is positive, right, whenever x is greater than equal to zero. It is still positive when x is less than zero. The absolute value must always be positive. So whenever x is greater than zero, positive quantities, this guy will be positive, of course, right? If I put one, two, three, four in here, it will be positive. And when x is negative, the function is defined as negative x because the negative of a negative number is positive because this must always be positive. So if I put x must be less than zero, say if I put negative one, for example, I have negative, negative one, which is one. If you put negative two, you get negative of negative two, which is two. So this is always positive. So this is how this absolute value function is defined, right? And you can sketch it, right? It's just straight lines. This is just straight lines, so we can, we can sketch it. Right, the function f of x is equal to x. So if you like y is equal to x, whenever x is positive and y 
minus negative x whenever x is less than 0. Okay? So on the axis, we are going to have, if this is x, this is our f of x or y, y is equal to s, just a straight line. That is for positive values of x. It's a straight line, like that, right? And for negative values of x, it's still a straight line. Okay? You can put in values. Put in negative 1 here, you're going to get a positive, right? Put in negative, negative, negative is positive. So that is also going to be a straight line. So this is the graph for the absolute value of x. Okay? Good. So once we know this, we know that absolute value of a quantity, a real number, has to be positive. We know that if you have an absolute value equation with respect to values, it's either a or it's equal to negative a. We can use this idea, right, to solve um, to solve any absolute value equation. Okay, so we'll look at a few simple examples, and then later on we'll do some more examples that are a bit more challenging. All right. Okay, so let's start with um, this. What is the absolute value? Okay, so let's let's write this. Solve. Let's do one. The absolute value of x is equal to let's say five. Number two, the absolute value of x is negative three. Number three, the absolute value of let's take two x for instance is equal to six. All right, simple. Uh, so we'll do this, and then we'll come back later on and do uh, more challenging examples. Okay, so solution number one, the absolute value of x is equal to five. By definition, we know that this means that this implies x is equal to five or x is negative five. Again, if I put 5 in here, this is satisfied. The absolute value of 5 is 5. If I put negative 5 there, the absolute value of negative 5 is still 5. So this is correct. Number 2. This says that the absolute value of x is negative 3. Well, we just said that the absolute value has to be a positive quantity. It can't be negative. Therefore, this has no solution. So no solution since the absolute value of x must be greater than or equal to zero. So it has no solution. All right? Then the last one, the last one is the absolute value of 2x is equal to 6. The absolute value of 2x, let's say, is equal to 6. One to solve this. <clears throat> well, actually, there are two ways you could do it. Um, we use the definition and we know that this means that 2x is equal to 6 or 2x is negative 6 or negative 2x is equal to 6 which is this. So you solve them separately for x. From here, divide 2 by x, you have x is equal to 6 over 2, so x is equal to 3. Here, x will be equal to divide through by 2, you have 6 and 2, so x is equal to negative 1, 3. Therefore, x is either 3 or x is negative 3. And you can check. If I put 3 in here, I get 2 times 3 is 6. The absolute value of 6 is 6. You can put negative 3. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. The absolute value of negative 6 is 6. So that is still correct. Okay. Now, um, a second approach, right, to solving these two equations is to square both sides. Because when you square, for instance, when you square a negative number, it becomes positive, right? So you can avoid solving two equations by squaring both of these sides. So let's try that. Let's call that method 2. So method 2. We, uh, we solve the same thing. We have 2x is equal to 6. And so when you square both sides, you get rid of the absolute value symbols. All right? So you can have 2x squared is equal to 6 squared. 
Okay. From here, you can really just take the uh, square root of both sides and solve for x, or you can expand it, right? This can be written as 2 squared is 4, and you have x squared is equal to 6 squared is 36. Divide 2 by 4. This implies that x squared is equal to 36 over 4, and that is equal to 9. x squared is equal to 9, so you take the square root, right? So x is equal to plus or minus square root of 9, and you get plus or minus 3. So x is equal to positive 3, or x is equal to negative 3. So you can do it this way, method 1, or you can often use method 2 to do it. Method 2 is very useful, especially when you have two absolute value symbols in the same equation. Okay, we'll look at some examples of that. All right. Okay, so I'll end here, and then when I come, we'll solve more examples of this, all right, of this type, a bit more challenging, and then we'll look at absolute value inequalities.